These are three things that have made me strangely and quickly more productive. I was watching an interview with Jennifer Garner and she was saying that one of the reasons she loves playing other characters is because she gets to experience how a certain characteristic feels. So for example, she said, the reason I wanted to play this character was because I wanted to see what it was like to be calm. I'm not like Hannah, my yep. character, and I wanted to check out what it would be like to be more still, more calm, less extra than I am <laughs> naturally. That gave me an idea of how to be more productive in such a simple way. Channel a person who is productive. And I am doing this through these glasses. I have created a character for myself, and now I associate these glasses and having them on my face with oh it's time to get work done so even though i don't need glasses i feel way more productive when i have them on i romanticize it i get different kinds of glasses for different tasks and it works these are my red glasses which means this is my content creation and ideation glasses whether or not it's glasses maybe it's a perfume you spray get into the habit of wearing those things with the intention of getting work done think about people in your life that are productive what would this person do and act accordingly with that listen to podcasts and read books written about productivity this is the closest you can get to being in the mind of the author so when you're reading his words his or her words on the page your brain is repeating those words in your head and it can't differentiate between the author's thoughts and your thoughts. They just become one. And so the more you read from an author who's productive, their point of view, then your brain will start to pick up not only obviously on their tips, but it'll be a little bit quicker in the sense that it's almost just becoming your thoughts and you start to think that more things are possible because these people are so positive and optimistic and they know that what they want to do, they can do. And that's going to stick with you. Same with podcasts like Mel Robbins, for example, or Ali Abdal. So yeah, reading and podcasts are the quickest way to adopting the mindset of someone else. My next tip is to get dressed every single day in an outfit that you feel good in. Whether or not you're staying from home, you're going out, you want to put on a productive feeling outfit that makes you feel confident and comfortable. I'm gonna keep these on just for effect. Next simple tip is ambiance. So with that, make sure that your space is nice and tidy. Put things away because a cluttered space is a cluttered mind. Even if you don't think it's stressing you out, the minute it's gone, you're gonna realize and you're gonna be like, how was I even working around that? So clean your space, just tidy up quickly before you start. Second, light a candle. Smelling something pleasant can actually help with your learning process and your ability to focus. Find one that makes you feel calm and collected and ready to tackle whatever's in front of you. Simplest hack, play music. Find a playlist that makes you feel productive. Some days I like playing Paris cafes and pretend that I'm in France. Some days I like to just hear birds chirping and then some days I listen to like an upbeat coffee shop. So whatever it is that you need to channel within yourself, whether you wanna feel like you're in a coffee shop or if you wanna feel like you're in the library, choose a playlist that fits accordingly. I did get a coffee scented candle so that I feel like I'm in a coffee shop, again, ambiance. So I play music that my favorite coffee shop plays. I light a candle that smells like coffee. And yes, I have my coffee next to me. If I can't physically be in a coffee shop, I might as well pretend that I am in one so that I feel just as productive. They also have YouTube videos where there's somebody who's like studying on the screen and you can almost study with them and I, also really like those just like quick little changes to your surroundings can make the biggest difference all right guys so here's my little work from home setup so i have my desk here which turns into a standing desk and then i use my whiteboard just to brain dump and everything i have my little productivity glasses that you could see there and then here is where i have my candle lit i just played like an upbeat vibey playlist it's like an hour long youtube episode a youtube video and i'm just gonna work from my desk from my little clean space and i feel really productive and with that open your blinds having some sunlight in some reminders that there's life out there that could just keep you going it could keep you more productive and just in a better mood while you're working so i definitely think having sceneries of nature, whether it's a plant in your room, just having the window open, like I said, 
Maybe you have a slight breeze. So you're staying connected to nature and that's super grounding and calming. And so the point is just to make it something that feels good because we're so used to just hustle culture and blue light and all these things that we don't even think to romanticize the routine, the process, and making our surroundings actually pleasant to be in. Because yes, you can have fun while being productive. To summarize, create a productive character that you can quickly become, listen to or read a productive book or audiobook before starting, even if it's just five pages or five minutes, that will make a difference. Get dressed every day, even if you're going to work from home. And lastly, create a nice ambiance, clean your space before starting, and let the light in. Anyways, I hope that this helped. I hope that these simple and easy tricks show you that productivity doesn't have to be complicated. And while you're still here, you'll definitely enjoy this video as well. Until next week, see you!